And for the first time in the history of college sports, San Antonio will host the entire NCAA women's basketball tournament from the second round to the finals, sharing venues with Austin and San Marcos to tip off the first round. With more on the story, Let's head over to our Greg Simmons. Greg, a big announcement today. This is huge for the city. This unprecedented move to host the entire women's basketball tournament that features 64 teams comes after the NCAA did this exact same thing with a men's tournament in Indianapolis during the COVID-19 pandemic. The venues in San Antonio will include the Alamo Dome, the UTSA Convocation Center, St. Mary's Bill Grehe Arena with the Alamo Dome configured for two courts beginning with the first round of play on March the 21st and the 22nd, sharing with Frank Irwin Center in Austin and the University Events Center in San Marcos with second round play shifting entirely to venues in San Antonio from March the 23rd to the 24th with all the championship rounds starting with the Sweet 16 on March the 27th and 28th to the Elite 8 March the 29th and 30th and the Women's Final Four April the 2nd through the 4th all in the Alamo Dome. The experience that San Antonio has with NCAA championships and and, and frankly it's uh, for large large scale events. Um, so within that, though, at, when we announced in December that we were, in fact, going to one geographic area and exploring the San Antonio region, um, that was tied to the fact that San Antonio had been a, had been um, named as the host for our women's final four. So throughout that exploration, and it was the can do attitude, it was certainly <laughs> in most just every single instance about how it could happen. Right now, no decision on fan attendance has been made, but whatever policy is adapted will then follow the local established health and safety protocols. More on this huge event coming up in sports. I think the NCAA made a great decision, it Greg. Sure did. Yeah, let's go to other news now. New